In the heart of Urdu literature, a form of elegiac poetry known as Marcia holds a significant place, especially within the Shia Muslim culture of the subcontinent. Two towering figures, Mir Anis and Mir Dabir, have left indelible marks on this genre, with their distinct styles, themes, and contributions. Mir Babar Ali Anis, fondly known as Mir Anis, was born in the year 1802 in Faizabad, India. His Marcia poetry is a symphony of eloquence and emotion, woven with the intricate threads of language. His verses echo with the themes of martyrdom, heroism, and the heart-wrenching events of Karbala. The vivid imagery, rich metaphors, and profound understanding of human emotions in his Marcias immortalize the valor of Imam Hussein and his companions, painting them as icons of courage and sacrifice. Mirza Salamat Ali Dabir or Mir Dabir, born a year later in 1803 in Lucknow, India, brought his unique style to Marcia poetry. His verses, while sharing similarities with Mir Anis, stand out with their simplicity, directness, and narrative approach. De Beers' Marcias delve into the human side of the tragedy, portraying the pain and suffering of individuals amidst the chaos of Karbala. His poetry provides a detailed account of the events leading up to the Battle of Karbala and its aftermath, offering a comprehensive understanding of the historical context. While both poets have significantly enriched Marcia poetry, their styles and approaches vary. Mir Anis's poetry is often more elaborate, using intricate metaphors and imagery to stir intense emotions. Conversely, Mir Dabir's poetry is marked by its simplicity and straightforward narrative style, focusing on the human aspect of the tragedy. The themes explored by these poets also differ. Mir Anis delves into the spiritual and metaphysical dimensions of the Karbala tragedy, emphasizing the divine significance of martyrdom and sacrifice. In contrast, Mir Dabir highlights the human suffering and resilience displayed by the characters, portraying them as relatable figures in the face of extraordinary circumstances. In conclusion, the Marcia poetry of Mir Anis and Mir Dabir is a testament to the enduring legacy of Urdu literature. Mir Anis's eloquence and imagery captivate readers with their lyrical beauty, while Mir Dabir's simplicity and narrative skill present a compelling portrayal of human emotions and experiences. Together, they enrich the Marcia tradition, ensuring that the sacrifices of Karbala remain eternally etched in the hearts and minds of generations to come.